Today we're going to be swapping out a chin rest on this viola. I just recently purchased this viola and um, I really do like the instrument, but uh, one of the first things I noticed when I started playing it is that the chin rest is just not very comfortable. It has, um, it's a pretty high profile uh, chin rest. Notice how it comes up over the tailpiece there and it's got kind of this bump on the, on the front here and uh, when I play my whole chin kind of rests on this bump and it sort of cuts in there and so it's just not very comfortable so um, I know that it's not the viola itself that's not comfortable it's just the chin rest and it's very simple to swap it out so I um, looked at what I had on my violin which was much more comfortable and I went on a um, string um, store website southwest strings was the one um, that I happened to get this one from and so I purchased a new chin rest. Notice this one is a lot smaller than the one that's on there um, right now. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. This was less than $20. I think it was about $17 or $18. So um, very inexpensive piece of equipment and really easy to put on. So if you uh, find that your chin rest is causing discomfort, it probably just means that it's not the right shape for you. And um, different people prefer different kinds of chin rests based on how long your neck is and uh, your playing position while you're playing your instrument. So um, I would recommend if you're experiencing some diff discomfort under your chin, um, think about trying a different chin rest. Um, you can certainly go into a violin shop and um, try out some different ones and see how they feel. Um, right now the uh, violin shops aren't, I don't think most of them are open, so um, I just decided to um, get one online and I'm hoping it'll work better than the one that's on there. So the first thing to do is to remove uh, the old chin rest and um, you'll notice that the clamps that hold it on have little holes in them and we use those holes to loosen um, the, the clamp and these are just basically screws. Um, to loosen the holes there is a device um, called a chin rest wrench which looks like this. However, you do not need to have one of those to do it. You can actually use a standard paper clip, which most people have in their house already. Um, this is the larger size of the, the uh, regular normal paper clips. And um, so when I think it's about an inch and a half. Um, so with the paper clip, all you do is you just kind of uh, take the um, outside part of it out like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my shoulder rest off while I do this. And um, what you want to do is um, put it in one of those holes and then you just use the paper clip to turn the, uh, the, the clamp. And you'll notice if you turn it one way, it's going to feel like it's getting tighter and then the other way it's going to feel like it's getting looser. Here, of course, you want to loosen it. So if I'm sitting with it on my lap and um, the chin rest is... Um, going toward me, I would be also bringing the, uh, the screw toward me. And I'll do it on both of them. Well, this one's on there pretty tight. And so I'm going to go ahead and use my wrench for this one. Oh, got it. Yeah, and again toward me. For a moment there, it felt like it was uh, screwed on the wrong way. Um, and there are two holes because um, you just need to kind of keep moving the wrench to the other hole until it um, gets loose enough. So we'll go back to this one. See how that is. And there's a little bit of a lip around the edge of the instrument and um, that keeps it from falling off. There we go. All right. Now, um, it's also held on there by uh, cork. Um, so there's a little bit of cork on um, both of the parts that come in contact with the instrument. Okay, so 
Um, that's what it came off as. And um, let me show you. This um, is a brand new instrument, so it is also a brand new chin rest. Um, I could certainly put this chin rest on a different instrument after I take it off of this one. And um, at school, I have a few different chin rests. So if there's an instrument that um, someone's having a problem with their chin rest, we can uh, put a new one on. Now, um, that one came all the way out on the end. Now, when you um, when you tighten these or loosen them, they really should go. Uh, they 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 go both ways. So there's actually two screws going into this, and then as you turn it, um, the screws are positioned so that um, they will come together uh, when you tighten it, and then they'll go apart when you uh, loosen it. Um, another thing that can happen with um, chin rest. This is also really common is um, they can fall out up here. It's also threaded right here. And sometimes those threads will get stripped and um, the, the whole clamp will fall off on one side. Um, when that happens, um, I think the best thing to do, it's not really possible to re-thread it, but what you can do is put a few drops of super glue in there and then just stick it back in um, because that part doesn't actually need to be ever adjusted. Um, it's okay to glue the screw into the, uh, into the chin rest and then your screws on the metal part, the clamp should still work okay. Um, but um, if you ever end up with a chin rest that is, um, it becomes loose, it starts wobbling around, that's how you fix it. Just grab your, um, your paper clip and then find those um, holes and tighten the screw. Um, okay, now I've got my much smaller one and it's um, adjusted now, so it's all the way in now. See how I can just kind of turn these with my fingers and I do need to go back and forth so it doesn't get too uh, crooked. They do need to stay parallel. I could actually do them at the same time. There we go, yeah. Oops, it came all the way out. Now it is important um, if you have a viola that you purchase a viola chin rest and if you have a violin that you purchase a violin chin rest because one of the um, big differences between a violin and a viola and this is the case with any size instrument the violas are thicker uh, they're they're actually higher from bottom to top um, so um, and even if you have a 14 inch viola that is um, technically the same length as a violin um, you are going to notice that it does have a difference in, in thickness okay now I actually went a little too far. So here I'm going to bring it back. And uh, there we go. So um, I'm just going to um, get it so it's just a little bit bigger than the size of the instrument. Um, I'm going to try it right here. I can also adjust the positioning of it. Um, but usually um, they're made to go just kind of right up against this, uh, this black part here and um, just right up over the, the tailpiece. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'll do it uh, finger tighten first. And then I'm going to use the paper clip. I kind of like using the paper clip for this step because it does pre prevent it from getting too tight. Um, what happens if you crank that thing too tight is it kind of gets stuck and then it also can cause a little bit of damage to your instrument. Probably not much, but um, maybe a little bit of damage. So with the paper clip, as soon as you get it to where it's all the way tight, the paper clip itself will start to bend. And uh, once it starts to bend, then you know you've gone far enough. Um, so it doesn't need to be super, super tight. See, that's nice and secure. And let's see if that one feels better. Oops, put my shoulder rest on. Yeah, that does feel better. Um, a little more space there and it doesn't um, doesn't cut into my chin quite as much. So that's how you replace a chin rest. Very easy um, procedure. So there's really no point in um, suffering with a chin rest that is uncomfortable. That's one of those parts of your instrument that is pretty easy to swap out. And um, they come in a pretty wide variety of different shapes. So if you um, like, you know, compare these two, 
notice how there is quite a big difference in the size of that and um, this one that I bought is really similar to the one that's on my violin and um, I could tell it just by looking at the picture even online so um, that's how you do it if you have any questions let me know um, but um, feel free if you ever have any issues with your your chin wrist just getting um, loose just tighten it up yourself it's really easy to do that's something that I do probably a couple of times a week at school um, so um, really a, a common um, thing to have to adjust on your instrument uh, thanks for tuning in and good luck if you decide to get a new chin rest let me know how it goes